Welcome to your first program using Pivot Pi and Scratch. Let's look at what we have. This is our Raspberry Pi with its power source and the Pivot Pi on top with its own power source. The Pivot Pi does require its independent power source for AA batteries. On the Pivot Pi, I have a small servo attached to port 3. The brown wire, which may also be black, is on the inside pin labeled as minus and the orange wire to the outside pin labeled as signal. If I had my Pivot Pi with a GoPi Go or a Grove Pi, I would select that robot first. But right now I only have the Pivot Pi, so let's start scratch and get coding. As all our robots, the Pivot Pi can be controlled via broadcast commands. So let's go in the control section and grab a broadcast block. The Pivot Pi syntax is simple. To control a servo, you start with the keyword pivot, then the ID of the servo from 1 to 8, 3 for us here, and the position in degrees that you want the servo to reach, let's say 90. Now when I click on this block, the servo will move to its middle position, 90 degrees. Yay, it moved, success! But if I do it again, nothing happens because the servo is already at that position. So I need another broadcast block with a different position. Let's duplicate this block and edit it to bring the servo to its zero position. Now I can click on the second block to bring the servo back to zero. And the first one to 90. And to zero. And 90. You get the idea. The Pivot Pi also comes with onboard LEDs. So let's use them. Let's duplicate those two blocks and leave them attached. The LEDs are there to provide feedback, but you do have to set them yourself. I simply need to edit those second blocks to add the keyword LED, just after pivot. You may choose to leave a space, but it's not required. I also need to change the value of the LED. The first one is set to 50, which is the halfway point and the second one to zero or off. I could put the word off in there too, if you want clear code. Now, when I click on each block, the servo moves and the LED lights up or not accordingly. And that's it. You've seen all there is to see about the Pivot Pie.